Hi, I'm Katie Skills, I'm a creative designer here at Sizzix. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flower basket. So perfect, absolutely perfect for Mother's Day coming up in the UK, um, the end of March. But equally really nice for Easter as well. Now the beauty of this, you think, well if I make that for my mum, how do I send it? It folds flat, so it's designed that you can squish it down a little bit. So it'll go in an envelope and then when they get it, it pops back up like that and it'll sit on the shelf. Obviously you can add any colours to it, you know, you can do your mum's favourite colours, etc. Really cute little box. So I'm going to show you today how to put it together. So I've already done a lot of the die cutting. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pop this bit. Now this bit is what makes that lattice effect on here. So you can see there, that bit, this is what does it. Okay? So I'm just going to place that. Now when you die cut it, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, you get these score lines. Now the score lines give you a really good indication of where that square is going to go. So we'll just pop that into our machine, like so. Make sure that stays in place. I'm just going to pop that. You only need to do this on one of the panels, because obviously this is just the front panel. You could do it on both if you wanted to. But. So now that, as you can see, let's put all of that out. That's really cool. So now we're just going to fold it here. I'm going to fold it there. Folding it here is what allows it to kind of squish down in a little while when you want to post it. So again, we score those lines. Fold it there. Now this is what's going to allow you now, and I've done this score line, to attach it all together, make it into a nice little box. So, to put the inserts in, then you think, well, how do the flowers attach? So the flowers attach by adding these little inserts in as well. So what we need to do with these, we need to just fold the score lines. Pop that there. See, there's a die that cuts all these out. I'll show you in a second. There's quite a lot of die cutting involved, so I thought it's better to show you how to put it together. So, there we go. So this is the actual lattice box, without the lattice. And you just pop that bit in, that gives you the lattice. So this is then the inserts, and all the flowers come with it as well, and you get your little handle. So let's have a piece of it together. So we'll take this here, and we're going to attach it. So I'm going to use some wet glue. I'm just going to place some strong wet glue along here, like so. And we'll attach this to this side here. Just make sure it's nicely lined up. Maybe hold it in place for a little bit longer. So I'll do that again. Just wait for the glue to set. Obviously you can use strong double-sided tape. You don't want to have to wait. We'll just put that for a second. There we go. And then we'll repeat it with this side. So again, some glue along here. I'll pop that on. Like so. Take. No, let me move the the way a little bit here so I can show you. So these inserts now fit perfectly inside here. So we're going to add some glue on either side of those. And we'll attach those in like so. So one needs to go fairly near the front. Yeah, and we'll just hold it in place till the glue takes. And one's kind of going to go slightly back because what we're going to do, we're going to fit our little um, handle in there as well. Put this one back here. Like so. Just line it up with the top and the bottom. And you know you've got it nice and straight. is our handle. So again the handle comes exactly the same. You get the little tabs on it that you fold in and this is what's going to allow you to attach the handle. So I'll just add some glue there. I'll pop that handle in like so. You kind of need more than two hands. That's fine. We'll manage. There we go. 
So that's now, this is our basket, so now we can decorate it. So what I've done here, these are all the flowers that go with this die. And what we want to do is we want to add them to stems, because this is how you're going to attach it to the box. So you die cut the stems, however many of them you need, and you just start adding them to your flowers. So we'll attach them. If we need to cut the stems down a bit, we can, because obviously you don't want all the flowers exactly the same length. all these on lots of stems to our flowers let's see what we got here a couple more I've got a couple more stems here so I personally I attach all the flowers first I think if you attach all the flowers first then you can add the greenery where you need it, that works best for me. There we go. So this is our basket. So what we're going to do, we're going to start to add some to the front. So we'll take our first flower and we'll just add some glue to the stem. We'll add it into the box. You can start adding as many flowers as you like. Obviously you can make it as full as you like. our first um, layer of flowers. If you wanted to add more you could, I mean I've done two layers here, but if you wanted to add more you could do that. don't kind of want them all at the same height you want them so that you've got them kind of different heights so then you can start adding in the leaves so we've got lots of different leaves here we've got some kind of grass type leaves that have got a score line in so we can fold those down we'll add some of those in we've got kind of some foliage leaves here that we can add in Basically, you just keep adding your leaves and your flowers until you feel that it's full enough, that you're happy that it's full enough. So we'll add some different ones popping up here. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could have them trailing downwards as well. Add some more to the front here. Basically, I'm trying to just cover up the stems a little bit. There we go. So that's the front layer done. So obviously on this one, I've done the second layer as well. But I'm going to leave this one as it is. Now, what I did was I thought this is really good for Mother's Day. So I've die cut a little tag. This is using the tag three thing. So I printed this onto my computer and die cut it. These are the tags, and then I'm going to take some twine, some nice pink twine here, and we'll thread this through the tag. Now, obviously, normally it's good to let the glue dry over the flowers and things totally before we start and um, move it on to the next bit. Basically, I'm just going to tie this in a knot so it keeps it in place. And then you've got your little tag on it there. So this is the one that I finished. So then you've got the tag. Now obviously you could add this to Happy Easter, you know, birthday, happy birthday, you could use it for what you like. But the beauty of this, I say, is once you've made it, it comes down so it can be um, popped in the post. So really cute these are. Obviously you can get them to different colours depending on what colours your mum likes. But that's it for today. For more inspiration, remember to check out our Facebook page, our Instagram page, our Pinterest page. 
lots of new items. Obviously, we've just launched chapter one, so there's lots of new things to be looking at. Hopefully, I'll be back to share some with you again next week. But until then, I'll see you soon.